All right, so this is um, just going to run through all the pedals that I have. And because we're going to be putting together a pedal board to put here. Because um, the thing I find is that I just I have them all now on this shelf. And, uh, you know, I just don't use them because they're just a pain in the butt between plugging them in. And, and then I just start tracking guitars. And I'm like, eh, I'll just, you know, I'll put something on the mix. And uh, anyway, I just want to start to use them. And most of these pedals I have had for a million years. And they've been sitting in... Uh, in this black trunk that I've had some of these pedals are as old as the hills as they say and the other thing under there is a little pedal board of mine that I put together with um, stuff with foot pedals this will be separate from the main pedal board it's got the whammy the wah and a the um volume pedal start with our blue pedal I think it has four kind of presets <laughs> Always that guy. That reminds me of like Beatles or something. I never know really. I don't even know what it's called. But I like it and I've used it on a few records over the years. And then there's a nice tremolo. And then I think once you activate the knobs, then it starts to work. Uh, then the knobs will activate. This I think is like more of a chorus. And then once you hit the rotary knob, I think that's when it starts to activate. So here's dual phaser. U-Vibe. That's kind of cool. And then you've got a mix button so you can just bring it in or have it heavy. Rotary drum. Rotary drum and horn. This is kind of more, more of like a Leslie sound. It's got tweak and tweeze. So I've got to kind of. It's funny, I've had this thing for years and I. And I'm, I've never been a pedal guy. Flanger. But, uh, hey, what's up, Woody? different things, dimension, tri-chorus, pitch vibrato, ring modulator, oh, that was the sound I wasn't looking for, sorry, just joking, so anyway, octo tremolo, it's nice with the mix control, tremolo on on the, the Vox itself. That's nicer than the pedal. <laughs> but anyway, you get the gist of it. The pedal's good. Let me get rid of that. The pedal is good at a lot of things. I heard Cobain made really fast. I think Hendrix used to use one of these. So now it's lost a little foot there. But there, so we got, that's just dry. And it's basically got your rate here. And then a 
left control, you go up, it gets more. That sounds really good. You know what I mean? That's got a nice, like, it's got a color to it. I don't know when we'd ever use it that thick, but you know. That sounds great. Real grimy. These, this guy I know for sure is like more kind of clean and surgical sounding. Nice, very nice. So that is the Electroharmonic Small Clone. This is a Tortuga Martini. Kind of a strange thing. And they definitely have a creative way of m labeling things here. It's the order, <laughs> on or off, I guess. How strong? This is a single or a double. These are the volumes for them. Mix is your blend. So single is. <laughs> course now there's two different ways shake and insert I don't think works on the first one See, that's how much I need a pedal board I don't even know how my own stuff works yeah this this is shake, shake and insert is just for the double so now you go double and now you've got whoa that's shaken and then stirred What do you think, Woody? Small clone. Yeah, I like the way it sounds better. Funny, isn't it? Funny. Now, this is classic. Classico. This is basically your boss chorus ensemble, and it's got chorus and vibrato. So now this is our dry signal, and then we engage it. So you can actually just drive the amp with this, probably. I think right here is about unity. Yeah, so if I go... Yeah, so it actually can almost work. Is you could actually drive the amp with the, with the pedal with this. Probably the same with the martini. So... Now chorus doesn't affect anymore, because now we're in vibrato. And then back to our chorus. Stand by MXR Phase 90. So we go clean. Does this weird like kind of rotation? It's like elliptical. Huh? It's like 
like elliptical instead of circular. Yeah. Especially when you go fast, you can really hear it. Like, see, it just it goes and then it goes. This is that weird kind of. Wow, that's really nice. The Retrosonics Chorus, and that small clone. Man, that's nice. Here's an old Deluxe Memory Man. So it's got, yeah, it's like a cor it's chorus vibrato with kind of a delay combo, and then it's got an overload button. Yeah, I think it's like the first thing you do is kind of set that. I've heard a lot of people using these to warm up the sound of their keyboard, and it's got a chorus or vibrato. Yeah, there's your delay time. And that's like your modulation. is like how much so here's the deluxe memory boy really cool yeah it's like a tap tempo it's got um, feedback um, delay. so then I think you can go out of this mode yeah, and now it'll just, now you just use your rate, oh no, not your rate, get rid of Rate or tap tempo? Um, yeah, use your, yeah, you can write, there's so. Yeah, it's delay. There it is. Yeah, rate or 
rate is it would be zero because it also is the rate modulation. for the modulation. Yeah, the rate for the modulation, and then you've got a gain and a blend. <laughs> Oh, it's got, yeah, it works off the expression pedal, but then you can go tap tempo one, and then you go like a dotted. Very nice. All right, like delayed, like preset times, not times, but. Than the memory boy. Yeah, I wasn't really driving the game. Maybe I was. I mean, that's off, yeah, so. got more uh, it pops more than the memory boy you know what I mean like let's go back to the memory boy that guy up here it could be also that the input I could have had the inputs a little oddball on this and get rid of this guy here yeah it's just different it's a different sound it's like got more weight Boss is nice. I've had this thing, I think I bought this in the late 90s for my band. And I've only ever uh, just like I had like a preset for like one delay, uh, but I already like that. I like that. You hear that? That's nice. So it's got delay time repeats, which we can figure that out. Make it quick. It's super slow. Super fast. The amount of repeats. Your mix. Oh yeah, there's all 
all delay, and then all wet, I mean all dry, and then in the middle gives you your little blend, so. And it's got tweak. It's almost like a controls your mod. Version. And then tweeze. Oh, it's like a filter. going to be very cool. And then you've got your basic uh, tube echo. Multi-head. I don't know what this guy does. It's got a tap tempo too. Oh, sweet back up. That's sweet. Analog echo with mod. Delay, digital delay, delay with mod, rhythmical delays. Dynamic delay. Auto volume delay. Wow, that's crazy. I like this. It does similar to more what that boss thing does. sessions with, with with bands and they come in and they want like that scratchy distortion like they don't want that smooth master volume Marshall orange thing like they want it to sound more ratty and there you have it that sounds great plays great too makes you feel like making guitar faces <laughs> thing is but we'll just hear it now against the old OCD
Both nice. All right, so. <laughs> This'll be cool, man, because most of our amps don't have any reverb, and I don't ever really track with reverb, but sometimes, like, for certain solos or certain parts, I'd like to kind of get that feel, and then we're in the... This is a weird knob, though. It's like you can barely feel when it clicks in. Here's a hall. Church. Yep. God just showed up. Mod. That's a kind of those weird chorus. See, here's lo fi. you're going to like till you like it and you really oh yeah that's really cool do my riff the riff of the video it's at Vandenberg 